Imagine for a moment you've had a long, tiring day at work or school. You get on the train for the ride home, sitting down and resting your head against the cool window pane to savor a few moments of peace before having to deal with dinner, screaming kids, homework, or chores. But instead of drifting off into your own thoughts, you hear this. Get SkyGo for your mobile. Best entertainment and live sport. When you want it, where you want it. That was an ad. Yes, delivered to you through a subway window. And if that weren't creepy enough, here's the other thing. Only you can hear it. How is that possible? Well, it's not your standard audio advertisement. These messages are transmitted through bone conduction. Bone conduction is the conduction of sound directly to your inner ear through your skull by converting electrical signals to vibrations. The technology is found in some products for the hard of hearing, and increasingly general consumer products like these Panasonic headphones showed at CES. Instead of going into your ear, the tiny speakers sit outside your ear, allowing you to hear your music or whatever you're listening to alongside the ambient noise outside. The theory being that this is safer if you need to stay aware of what's going on around you. Apparently, this could potentially include advertisements that are sourced through transmitters placed on train windows. So if you're hearing voices on the subway, don't rush to a shrink. It's just a company called SkyGo trying to sell you things. SkyGo is a mobile streaming service based in the UK. Before you flip out, there's no evidence that bone-conducted ads will be coming to your municipal transit anytime soon. Since if it were to happen, it probably wouldn't be too long before riders ripped off those SkyGo boxes in a bone-conducted rage. Public reactions to the demo video range from, sounds like a nightmare, awful idea, to F you, I hope you fail. But would you feel differently if it were, say, soothing ocean noises or your music of choice? Or is it a complete intrusion regardless? Let us know what you think in the comments. For TFN, this is Annie.